Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Uh, welcome to all my viewers and subscribers, especially my new viewers and subscribers. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I'll never, ever take that for granted. Thank you so much. I'm a 57-year-old American who decided back in December of 2018 to pack everything up and move to the Philippines in search of a new life. I found it. And I just want to share my experiences with you, my boots on the ground experiences with you. And the only way I know how to do that is uh, by giving you the nitty gritty. And that's just exactly what I'm seeing, what I'm living, what I'm experiencing. I never sugarcoat it. It's not going to start today. I received a comment from a gentleman. He asked me, he said, Calvin, I saw on another vlogger's a video, he said that you need $2,500 to $3,000 a month uh, to live in the Philippines. He said, what are your thoughts on that? And my response to him was, um, he had, you know, that blogger has the right to his own opinion and I would never second guess him because I know the blogger he's talking about. I saw the video and this gentleman, he gives good information. He's really trying to be helpful, you know, but, and I don't want to offend anybody, but you know, Budgets over here are like assholes. We all have one, okay? But they're all different too, okay? And it goes the same with with the budget. You know, to say uh, that $3,000 per month budget, it's a myth, man, honestly. Um, and I talk to people all the time about this because it'll scare some people from, from ever even attempting to come over here, but it's just not true. I'm going to tell you, my boots on the ground experience. Uh, there's six people who live in this house. Me, my girlfriend, three children, and her mother. And I earn just a tad bit below 1,400 US dollars per month. And I'm gonna walk you through my house. I'm gonna show you that we don't want for anything. We don't miss any meals. We live very, very good, and I have money left over uh, that we save, and we put into the bank. You know, she's got an account at China Bank, and that's a whole other story, but I'm gonna start out with this. My rent, and you know, I put the link to, my, to our house over there. If you can see that, it's $8,500 per month. This is my last month's uh, rent statement. Okay, 85, it's about $170 right now, about $173, okay. Here's my water bill, if you can see that. I mean, it's kind of small, but it's 365. That's about seven, that's less, that's about $7, 750. And then, of course, I've already paid my electrical bill, and it was 2200. Now, the one this month is gonna be a little bit more, 2400. You know, that's about, $40. So we're looking at 170 and 40 as 210 and then another, let's just say $8 just to make it even. So you're looking at $218. Now that's my living expenses. I mean, you know, to have a place to stay, you know, with electric and water. Okay, so that gives me about 1200 US left. So Let's keep it in pesos, it makes it a lot simpler, okay? So my 1,400, it's about 70,000 pesos every month. And then my bills, it's 218, let's make it 220. So then we'll say that's another 11, so my bills, my rent and utilities is 11,000 pesos per month. So 70 minus 11 is 59. Uh, 70 minus 11 is 59. So I've got 59,000 left for food, for uh, my girlfriend's motorcycle bill is 2,800 every month. So that's about another, let's just say $55. Her daughter's tuition uh, is 15,000 per year, 50,000 pesos per year. So that's about $300. So. That's about $25 a month. Um, the food, I'm gonna go high on the food. I'm gonna say, you know, the food is 500 a month, which it's not because the biggest expense in our food 
every month is that bag of rice sitting back there. So that usually lasts about a month, I guess. And that's 1,100 pesos, and that's 25 kilos. Uh, and then we pay her mother uh, 700 pesos a week, which we just gave her a raise. We were paying her 500 pesos, but now we moved it up because she just does everything around her, guys. Uh, that's 2,800 uh, per month. Okay, that's another, you know, $55 a month. You know, so with all of that, and you know, when we eat pizza about once a month, we go out to eat about once a month. So that's another, all together, that's another $30, man. You know, it's hard for me to spend that 1400 man. Because see, remember, I don't drink. No one in this house really drinks. My wife may drink. I mean, my girlfriend may drink a cooler, you know, every two or three months. You know, uh, we don't smoke cigarettes. I don't skirt chase. I don't go to bars and clubs or anything like that, man. But we don't live a boring life. As you see, we always go to the mountains, different things like that. Because it's a pandemic, we spend a far less than we normally do. But even pre-pandemic. I wasn't spending, because the food is going to be, um, uh, is something to set. I don't care if it's a pandemic or not. We're, that $500, and you know, that's a lot, $25,000 i am putting for the food. You know, that's constant. That's not going to change, you know. Uh, and then, of course, you know, diapers is the only thing that I buy for our little daughter. And we, I guess that's about, we, we do that about three times a month. So... That's about, let's see, that's about $30. And then, you know, now she's starting to eat the Gerber food. That's a dollar per bottle. Per bottle. So we do about six of them a week. So that's another $6. So that's another $24 a month. It's very, very hard because, see, it depends on where you live and how you live. Okay. Um, I live in Negros Occidental. St. Carlos City. It's a small city. The cost of living is very cheap here. I mean, that $3,000 budget, I don't care where you live in the Philippines, unless you live in that BGC area, up there in Manila, where one of my friends, Anthony, lives, are you going to even need something like $3,000 a month? I mean, I mean, I don't, you know, if I want, do I have hot water? No. If I wanted it, could I have it? Yes. Would it be expensive? No, it wouldn't. That would be a one-time expense of about uh, $30 for the little small portable hot water heater. I would have my landlord's maintenance install that, and then that would probably add about another, I'm going to say $5 a month to my electric bill because you're only going to use that when you know, you're taking a bath. But... We don't need it. It gets so hot here that by the time I take a bath in the morning after I get done working out, the water's either cool or lukewarm. It's refreshing. It rejuvenates me. See, I'm not giving up a whole lot, guys. I promise you that I'm living as well here as I did in the United States. That's one of the reasons I moved here, you know, to get more bang for my buck. The minute you step off the plane in the Philippines, if you're coming from one of these Western economies, you get a cost of living raise. It's just that simple. But hey, I don't know what your tastes are. They're different from mine. You know, you may want the 70 inch screen. See, I got a 40 inch screen TV here. You know, it doesn't cost. Go ahead. You're not going to bother anything. Uh, you may want the big fancy, that's my 15 year old. Stepdaughter, she's smart. You know, like I said, her tuition is about fifteen thousand a year, so that's only like about twenty-five dollars a month. But it depends on what your taste is. If you got a champagne taste over here, you know, man, you might as well stay at home, man. You're in the Philippines. You don't need all that stuff over here. But I can't tell you what to do. I can't tell you how to live. You know, we got our air conditioning in the bedroom. That's strictly for the baby. All right, but just let me walk you around here for a little while. I'm going to show you my place. I'm going to show you that we're not missing out on anything, okay? There's a TV. It's my living room. I just want to kind of show you what I'm working with, guys, because 
you know, I don't, I'm not going to sell you any uh, a bag of dreams. I'm telling you, this is my bedroom here, you know, with the air con and everything like this. I'm paying 170 for this big place. Big lawn, there's my refrigerator. I'm not, you know, there's the kids' room. You know, they got their own big room in here. You know, they've got a big room, you know. Uh, then, of course, you know, we got, you know, the kitchen back here. That's my girlfriend. There's a kitchen back here in the bathroom. You know, there's our washing machine. There's Booby, my daughter. But anyway, guys, you know, it doesn't take... 3000 to live over here. I can't even spend 1400 So it So the bottom line is, it depends on where you live, your taste, and how you live. I didn't come over here to bring all that American stress and strain with me. You know, I came over here for a new way to live. I wanted to get away from all that um, high cost of living. And see, that's one thing that you may have to leave over there. You know, because even my friend John, he it, this is his figures. He said that he averaged seventeen hundred and fifty dollars a month last year. And you seen his place? He don't want for nothing. I mean, this guy he eats, drinks, smokes, and does everything you can possibly do as a grown man, and still has money left over, guys. You know, so I'm not knocking that other vlogger. He's a good vlogger. He has. Great information. He's trying to be helpful. But I'm sorry. You know, you don't need 2500 to 3000 You know, and then, you know, the field health, that's about another 500 a year. So that's probably less than 500 I'm sorry, 17000 pesos for the year. So that's about another, I'm going to say $35 a month, guys. And I'm, I'm still, so now I got about 400 left, you know, after everything is done. You know, so... I'm living on about, you know, a thousand really, you know, really during the pandemic is somewhere around 800 to a thousand. All right. Um, and that's the nitty gritty, man. That's the boots on the ground formation. If you got 3000 and you come over here, you're going to save a lot of money, man. You know, just living normal. You see how I live? We don't want for nothing over here, you know. If I want something that costs, because nothing in my house costs over $300. Why? I'm in the Philippines. I'm not in America. Why would I come over here and spend, you know, $3,000 for a living room set? My living room set right there. Look at it. It's a three-piece. I paid less than $300 for it, guys. My dining set right here, I paid about $150 for it. My TV, about $200. That table that it's on, about $60. I didn't come over for all of that. You know, I pay cash for my stuff over here. It takes the worry away. It takes the stress away, guys. But the $2,500 to $3,000 budget, yeah, that's a myth. In beside, man, if you live, if you got that kind of money in San Carlos, man, you're living in a damn mansion. I promise you, man. You're living in, a, in that big, uh, what's the name of that subdivision over there, hun? Over there, honey? Honey, what's the name of that subdivision over there by Center Mall, where them big houses is? South Villa. South Villa. Yeah, you're living in South Villa if you got 3000 a month here. Yeah, but you see, I'm living good. So, you know, depends on your taste, depends on where you live. But remember, budgets are like assholes. We all got one. But remember, they're different over here, guys. So don't let that scare you. Uh... I think he lives up in Luzon somewhere. Maybe he needs that kind of money, but I surely don't. I didn't come here. Man, if I had 3000 a month, man, uh, let's see. I'd still live here in the Philippines, you know. But you just have so many more options. The cost of living is one of the main reasons I came over here, guys. It's really, really cheap over here. And people are always talking about, oh, inflation and in eight years and blah, blah, blah. Man, I may be dead in eight years. I live today. You know, look, they've been talking about this inflation stuff in the Philippines since I've been coming over in 2009. Has it went up? Yeah, the food price of foods went up. But the government is stepping in now and putting their foot down and say, hey, you know, the, the, the price of pork, the price of uh, chicken has went way up. But the government's stepping in. But 
other things like rent and all that stuff like that, man, it, it's not going to go out of the roof because remember, they got 100 million people over here that still have to live, that they're not paying any more uh, wages to. Okay, so your 1500 your 1000 your 1200 1500 1800 2000 man, is enough to live over here, man. I can't tell you what's going to happen in eight years or ten years down the road, okay? I'm going to live today the best that I can, and I'm going to enjoy it. So thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, so if that was one of the things that was scaring you, remember, you move here to San Carlos, and I guarantee you, I'll show you how you can make that $1,200 work. Remember, I got six people here. Now, imagine you're living your, by yourself or you're living with you and your partner, even if they have one child. Man, you're living good here, brother, I promise you. Okay? If you're in America, it's late. Before you let your head hit the pillow, please help somebody. If you're on one of those late grocery runs, beer runs, weed runs, you're just getting off second shift, you see somebody on the street, buy them something to eat, buy them something to drink, give them a couple of dollars. If you're in the Philippines, it's about 11 o'clock in the morning. We still have the whole rest of the day to find somebody to help. There's no excuse over here uh, as far as trying to find somebody to help. There's so many people to help. It's very, very important because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. When we help other people, we help ourselves. Take care, stay safe, stay COVID-free, and I'll see you next time. One more thing. Go on my Sunshine Shoulders Facebook page. I've got some updates on Baby Denise's house. It is looking good, guys. I delivered some equipment today that's going to allow them to finish that upstairs, and then they're going to uh, work on that other side of the house. Then we're done once they put that uh, uh, bathroom in. You know, right now we're we're a little bit over two thousand on the budget. That's including um, you know materials and labor. We had to hire new one more guy yesterday because. Uh, that upstairs, the lead guy said we needed it, so I trust him. So we hired him. So now we got four guys working. And our goal is to be finished by the end of this week. I mean, not this week, end of this month. Because it, I've already told them, if we do, I'm going to give them a bonus. All right? So thank you so much. Take care, and I'll see you next time.